Hey guys, what's happening? So in a previous video I showed you um, me fixing this old IP camera. It's not too old, a couple years old. Uh, 1080p IP camera. And I actually had a pad, bad PoE board and I had a bad capacitor so I had to fix that. But somewhere in the process this night vision board, the IR sensor got burnt out. And I tried fixing it but uh, the main controller chip is got fried and you can't, I mean, you. I was even looking up the part number to replace that little part, but you can't even, you know, they don't even, there's no specs on the actual part. If you put the part number in Google, I can't even find any, any information about the uh, part the controller chip. So it's actually the LED controller. So I bought another one on um, Amazon, I'll put a link down below. And uh, it's very similar. You know, like most of these LED boards that I've seen actually have a, uh, you'll have like a power, 12 volt power right there. Then you have a jumper wire that comes back and feeds the camera to control the shutter, the IR shutter. So this is not exactly the same. I might have to cut this out a little bit um, because the foam doesn't actually fit the same way. But what I did is I, I just measured the outside with my calipers and I found one that was similar. Because they make them all, all different sizes, the rings. So this one was about 50 and this one was about 53 I think. So I might have to make a few mods here and there. But I needed to get to fit on the uh, standoff, so I'm going to put this back together so we can get to that point. Um, but yeah, it's nice to have night vision. So um, came with a free extra power. I think it was like seven bucks, six six fifty, seven bucks. But I'm going to put the system back together and get it going. One of my, one of my previous videos, I saw it on some UARTs, and that allowed me to check out Linux as I was booting and run commands on it. So it's like hooking up a keyboard, monitor, and mouse. But uh, I'm gonna actually I'm not gonna cut those. I'm just gonna wrap them up nice and tight, and under there. So in case I ever got to like troubleshoot the Linux operating system or reload it, the different firmware, I'll have it there already. But before I get too involved with putting this back together, I'm gonna see if this thing actually works. But I'm also gonna verify the polarity, make sure that's in the right spot. You have 12 volt and uh, obviously ground, but I want to make sure that matches up here before I fire it up. You're gonna get a immediate fry. And then, so this one has a different kind of, uh, like I said, the this one actually has a controller chip on it. And I had actually burned out of diodes. I'm not sure, like, in the part of the troubleshooting process. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if I, I can't really take out too much of the, the PCB in case I got to enlarge this a little bit. Well, it's pretty obvious the difference of these boards, but uh, obviously one is surface mount LEDs, and the other one is these uh, through-hole type. So, um, like I said, before I get too involved in it, I'm just going to fire it up hook up to my POB and just basically see if I can, this thing actually works and you can test it. Uh, just by doing that I'll show you that. Alright, so the device is powering up. This is a Zosi camera by the way, if you're not familiar, but actually uh, all these cameras, they basically run an embedded version of Linux that is housed on this chip right here. So that's a high silicon. Um, it's basically like an ARM processor, has its own memory. It's called System on Chip, SOC design. So it's basically like a mini com all in one mini computer right there. And uh, so it has all the functions to operate Linux. You know, because processor, RAM, storage, uh, I.O., input, output. So you might um, not see these LEDs, but I can hear the shutter clicking. So when I put my finger over the IR sensor, Hear that clicking? Hear that clicking? I'm guessing there's sort of like a delay. But on these other LEDs, I could actually see like a... Uh, I could actually see them illuminated. So I don't know if these things are illuminated or not. I think it's sometimes you, if you look on the camera, you can see them. Yeah, I hope you can hear that clicking. So I know it's it's setting the IR is setting it back to the shutter to tell this thing to manipulate the the, uh, the focus. But I don't know. I'm not going to know until tonight to see if this thing actually works. It's actually illuminating. Like I said on this one, I, it would actually kind of turn slightly red so I could see it. But I know this IR thing is actually working right because it's it's manipulating the shutter here. All right, I'm going to get the board back on there and then I'll uh, get the other thing mounted on here. So now that I know this camera works, I had to use my little Dremel tool and open these up a little bit because this thing is, this original one was a 50, 50 millimeter and this one is 53 millimeter. So 
I just had to take it on the edge a little bit here, here, because it was actually binding on these little things right here. So, and then you have um, this little foam thing that goes in there, and that kind of fits into this little gap right in there, like right there. That kind of closes the gap so there's no air between the lens and the thing. But I'm actually, I'm going to clean this thing because it looks like it's kind of, kind of dirty. So, uh, even though it's, even though that, the outside doesn't really matter, but I'm going to take my, uh, get some, maybe some Windex, clean, the, clean this lens off. And get the foam back on. Looks like it had a sticky thing on it. Put that down there. And that should hopefully close the gap like there. See that goes in like that? But I have to put the weather seal on first. There's a little weather seal going on there first. Okay. Okay. I'm going to screw that back on there. All right, so I hope you can see this. This is actually my blue wires. So I'm actually in the process of revamping my uh, DVR system. Uh, that's my Bronco and my F250. You've seen other videos. Um, so what I'm trying to do is, I just didn't like the ZOC DVR or MVR. Um, really had horrible options on it. So um, yeah, the frame rate is not gonna be good because I'm recording this video. Plus it's on my server. I'm actually remote desktoped into my, one of my servers. So um, this is actually the test bench right there, and you can see my oscilloscope and other things there. So I'm gonna wait till the night to see if it actually activates the the night vision and see what happens. So before I put it totally back together and back up, I want to make sure it works. Um, but I actually have a pretty cool other camera coming in and um, duo camera, but I'll show you that. I'll take it apart and we'll take a look at it. But also uh, maybe I'll make another video about me getting these uh, Zosi cameras to work in a non Zosi. Uh, you know, NVR. So I'm, I'm basically taking a Linux-based camera that was never designed to work with a third-party solution, actually, and make it work with uh, this Blue Iris or other NVRs. But I guess all right. So it's actually nighttime, and it looks like the IR filter is actually working here, or the night vision. So what's interesting about this new one is that you can't see it lit up, whereas my other one you could see it actually it was actually kind of sort of red, like a red, red pinkish tint to it. Um. Whereas this one you can't see it at all. It's like totally dark. So that's maybe why they made them dark is so you couldn't see it. Kind of like the, I don't know. But, all right, so I'm going to put the camera back together and uh, I'll be back tomorrow. So. There you guys, cool. Back together. Yeah, it's kind of cool. These things are just, uh, you know, it's like a little mini computer, like a little mini Linux based computer. But, all right, get back up. Uh, all right, awesome. Yeah.